White Marlin Open, again, it's the, the biggest tournament out there. So it's the Super Bowl of fishing for them. It's just the ability to compete in it is, is, is incredible. You know, you're fishing against some of the, the biggest, you know, best fishing teams in the world. Uh, there's a lot of zeros in this tournament. And so, yeah, winning millions of dollars is, is pretty cool. That's going to win us the millions. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to the scale with our weight this year. We already got him. <laughs> the species of fish we're looking for are the ones that pay us. <laughs>captain and Mason is my mate and uh, his role is to uh, have all of our baits and our tackle uh, as to the best of his ability to where if we do encounter a fish that we can capture it. We just wrapped up the captain's meeting that means it's go time it's it's official right everybody's registered and and it's, it's time to fish. So we got our valley who's stalling over here. We're gonna start rigging some baits up. So we're, so we're ready to go first thing in the morning. You know, fortunately for us, this is a huge week. It's a lot of excitement, the camaraderie, the, the environment, the buzz, it's just awesome. It's hard to not be excited. No, there's, there's a lot of, uh... Uh, late nights and hard work. Pee wah in the house. Right, right. Pee wah Fishing team. Right. Come on, baby. Bless the fish guys. <laughs> Cheers. Right Glad there. you guys are here. coordinates in us, some stuff I saw that I liked and have them in the some waypoint saved in here. Excited, ready to go. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. 4 a.m. We're on the payload. Oh man, ready to go. fish will only give you 15 seconds and if you're not ready in that 15 seconds you lose your chance. It turns into a cockpit chaos kind of thing. It's uh, I, uh, I try to explain to everybody I'm not yelling at you I'm just giving you loud instructions. Crank that short rigger MB. I don't know what we got. Keep telling me what you got Jamie. Six foot of line don't just creep right back off of there. And then I want you to crank down. There you go. You got to try to keep the same amount of heat on him because you're not getting up. It's just we're a standstill right now. If it gets down there too deep, then the sharks are gonna get on him. But when that line goes off, there's a I mean it's immediate adrenaline rush. Uh, immediate excitement. One, uh, 
you don't know what it is. Two, you don't know how big it is unless you're actually watching and paying attention. Um, and and that's where you know that whole level of anticipation and excitement and it's all jarred up in one little shot and it comes at you. I mean, it's pretty good. Hold your rod out that way. Uh, as soon as we started today, we got us a tuna bite, I think is what it was. And uh, halfway through the fight, shark ended up eating the thing. So 12 a.m., 17 to 26 knots. The, the residual in the morning is going to be really, really By bad. 6 a.m., it's down to a 12 to 16. Then by noon, it should be at 8 to 10. So morning would be terrible. If you guys are cool with it, I say like we just put all of our chips in Thursday, Friday, and we'll deal with it. We have to go rough. We have to go in the rough. Yeah. My only concern with Friday is the northeast. The northeast. So northeast gets a little bumpy. gets a little bumpy. Um, my thoughts are: we know what we're running into tomorrow. It makes more sense to gamble on Friday. Um, and. Uh, you know, we all know it can get better, it could get worse, but at this point we know, you know we know what we're going to get into in the morning. All right, so let's, let's get the boat ready, let's go get fuel, get all that stuff done, and then we'll all right, get ready for Thursday. Tight, tight. Sweet! Woo! You got a lot of room, you get tossed all over the place. That fast, you get hooked up, it's pure adrenaline. I thought for sure that that was a white marlin bite. You know how it crashed on the teaser like that? Haven't dropped back to it, picked it up. I thought for sure that was gonna be a marlin bite. We fought it like a billfish, and then it turned out to be a tuna. But even though it was a tuna, it's still all right with us because we got the skunk off the boat, and it feels feels good. Uh, it looks like it's right around 60, 60 pounds, which would be a qualifier. Uh, I don't think it put us in the money, but it, it would be a qualifying fish. pounds at least uh, were Monday, Tuesday nothing, last night was another big night and as you can see 
there's a lot of tuna being donated from the anglers, so much appreciated and, and going right back here in the uh, city of Ocean City. It's really amazing. It's a teamwork effort here, so uh, it's going extremely well tonight. Uh, challenging conditions and a slow bite like we fought through it. It's just so much fun, so much good competitive fishing and a lot of prize money to be had so it always gives you that excitement of coming back. I'm gonna do my damnedest to try to win for sure. Everybody does. You don't want to be a sore loser man. <laughs> Grit is a huge part of doing this, that you have to have grit to do this. And this week was that perfect example of you have to bear the elements, you have to stay focused, you have to ride it out. And that's that's part of, you know, and not every tournament's gonna be a success. You just have to put your time in.